Hank is right there looking at it. All of our storm trackers have this area surrounded. On Next Gen Live, let me show you what some of the live velocity data is showing in this area. This is south of I-40, and this is gonna be, well, it's just, just updated there, Cass, and you're gonna update these numbers. Southwest 29th, it's basically coming right down. Southwest 29th Street between there and Southwest 44th, and it's currently at Evans Street, and it goes, basically, the damaging winds are gonna come all the way over to 92, which is uh, Cemetery Road. So that is uh, the area of damaging winds. Some of our radar estimates are 80, 90 to 100 miles per hour. All of that may not reach in the, be reaching the ground, but if it is, uh, that is very strong, very dangerous damaging winds. That's the strength of a low end tornado. And that's gonna be a straight line wind. Not seeing a circulation at the moment. Let's go back to reflectivity. And I'm gonna show you the hook with the storm and we'll Boy, zoom out. It feels like it got really hot here. Okay. It looks like a heat. We'll go back to Hank. We know he's talking about a heat burst. He may have had one. We know we had a heat burst earlier up near Hillsdale with some 90 mile an hour winds. We'll get to that part of the state in just a minute. Let's zoom out just a little bit if we can here. And this is our live radar. Here's the hail core, which passed by El Reno and went to the north. Now coming down towards Richland and Banner. And look at the hook, how long the hook is. Okay, that's trying to extend out away from that storm. And if we lapse that, let's see what the motion is now, Cassie, as it's moving. Yeah, the storm itself is drifting to the east, maybe a little bit to the south, but the definitely the damaging wind punch is pushing to the east as the RFD or the winds come back on the back side of that hook and push to the east. We'll see what it does. Let's go back to a uh, like hail detector and just see if the hail core has come down. I don't think it has. No. no, we're still getting very large hail from El Reno down to Banner. Damaging hail storm. This is going to be really, it could be millions of dollars of hail uh, damage coming out of this storm today in Canadian County, and it's coming towards Oklahoma County. All right, let's go back to velocity data, and we'll show if we're looking for any areas of circulation. Not seeing uh, any areas of spin at the moment with that. Oh, there, it's tightening up, guys. This is tightening up. We could get a tornado out of this. Let's zoom in. This is going to be just to the north of Hank, and the circulation has localized now over Banner Road, right over Banner Road and Southwest 15th. This could be a tornado developing now. This circulation is going to be to the south and to the east now of Brandon, southeast of Jeremy, just by about a mile. Just Val's by about. Power flash. Okay, let's go to, to Val. East. Go ahead, Val. Just to your east by four miles, Val. What do you see? Okay, we just saw a power flash straight ahead of us. Is that a funnel? Look, look, it's a funnel straight ahead of us. Um, funnel uh, straight east of us. Look in the shot. Look at our shot right there. It's just left of the road. There is a funnel. It, it's all the way on the ground. Tornado on the ground, just barely north of 15th Street. Barely north of 15th Street. That's where we saw the power flashes. It's all the way on the ground producing debris. Um goodness how close is this to us okay this is banner um, you see that in our shot banner road we can't you, see, you it, see Val. it in our shot i can't see it in your shot oh. Val. but it's banner road and southwest 15th and this is going to be in canadian county jeremy carter's right there as well this is a mile it's on the ground oh, jeremy jeremy, the jeremy i see it in your shot jeremy it's a mile to your south tornado on the ground doing damage jeremy give us an update yes lacy if you can see it it's we right here be back out and see if i can't get a better visual of it I hope they're recording on this, but yeah, it's just, just less than a mile from me, right to my east, right to my east. I'm coming up on the path. Hang on, I'm getting a clear shot. Oh, my, this is a big tornado, Lacey. Take a look at it. This is a tornado right there. Okay, he's I can hear the roar. I can hear the roar, Lacey. Jeremy, this is a half a mile no, from no. you. This is a oh very God. dangerous yeah. situation. There's Jeremy Carter's shot. No, Jeremy. no, it's closer than a half mile. Is it yeah, quarter yeah, of a mile? Close. It is doing damage. It is lifting it is doing north. It's a half mile of me. Please record it. We've Please got, roll on it. We've got Yeah, it. this is a powerful tornado. Jeremy, yeah, Lacey, there's houses out here, too. There's and a it, lot of people that live out them. here. Cassie, can you zoom in just a least. little bit? Yeah, I've also got a track on, too, for when we need it. Is this is going to be a Mustang at 945. It's 936 right now. Will Rogers okay. Airport at 953. This is moving quickly. 
about east at about 40 to 45 miles an hour. Okay, do not leave Jeremy's shot. I'm just going to read off exactly where he's looking. This is southwest 15th between southwest 15th and Reno. Zoom in one click, cast if you can, and I'm going to give that north-south street. That is Banner Road. Jeremy is on Banner Road, and that is the tornado right now. It is 936. You're seeing it live on News 9. That is a very dangerous tornado, okay? It's very dangerous. It is a large tornado. It is doing damage. You can see the circulation all all the way down to the ground, the debris lifting several hundred feet up into the air. Don't lose that shot. We're going to leave it. Cassie, can you put it on debris detector right now? I'm yeah. looking at exactly where this is. Jeremy's not in El Reno. Jeremy is south We've of got El debris. Reno. We have debris. Okay, let's look. Let's look. Okay, so we can see this. Obviously, it's doing damage. Let's go back to velocity data. And we're just looking at things while you're seeing the tornado so we can give you the exact location of where this is. And it looks like, Jeremy, is it lifting north? Jeremy, is this lifting to the north? Yeah, Lacey, listen, there's a ton of debris lifted up. This thing is really a powerful tornado. I mean, it's it's a dangerous storm. It's probably strong enough to knock out. I would I would classify it by looking at the motion on the sides, probably at least an EF3, maybe even an EF3. Definitely strong tornado now in the metro area. Back to you, Lacey. Okay, thank you for that update, Jeremy. We're getting the exact location for folks. It looks to me like it's lifting to the north. This is going to be Reno Avenue now. It's crossing Reno Avenue and it's crossing Banner Road. It's crossing Banner and it's going to the north east. It is definitely on the ground. This is coming up towards Reno and Cimarron Road now. Reno and Cimarron Road, you're next. It's just to the southwest. This is in the Oklahoma City metro. This is south of El Reno, and this is lifting kind of to the northeast. It really is. It's lifting almost to the northeast. Jeremy, can you tell me the direction that this thing is moving as you're tracking it to your east? Okay, Brandon's well, right here with me. Okay, we'll check back in with Jeremy here in just a second. Jeremy, you've got the shot of it. You've got it up for sure. It wow, looks... multiple vortices, multiple vortices. Okay. Lacey, take a look at that. We can multiple see Multiple vortices. We're within probably literally a quarter mile of it. We're going to be able to see what kind of damage you see right close. But yeah, this thing is powerful. Watch this. I'm going to take up and look at the base of this thing. I mean, a large stone funnel literally right here. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but take a look at these vortices. It's pretty, really a pretty devastating tornado if it was to hit someone. Lacey, back to you. It is. This is a tornado warning. This is a confirmed tornado. If you're just joining us, this is south of I-40. Jeremy Carter has it live on the ground right now. Jeremy, Brandon, Val, Hank, they're all right there on it. This is crossing over Reno Avenue, and it's already crossed Banner, and it's going to be tracking to the northeast. This is going to be very close to the Clarence E. Page Airport. Uh, it may track and go a little bit more to the right, a little bit more easterly, but right now that's where it's located. It is still on the ground. It is still doing damage. It's lifted to the north and it may start to make more of an easterly turn. Cassie's working on the storm track right now. Do you have it there, Cass? Yeah. Okay, let's go to let's go to links real quick. We're getting Jeremy's shot established. If any other storm tracker has it, just let me I'm know. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, here's the storm track. Let's go to links if we can. She's on links two. two. The tornado is still on the ground. It is still on the ground and doing damage. And there it is. It lifted to the north, Cassie. It's lifting, and it may try to cross I-40. It really might. But right now, that puts it near Yukon Middle School at 9:43 in three minutes. Yukon 944. Yukon High School at 9:45. Mustang Middle School at 9:46. The OG&E plant at 949. This is all within the next 10 minutes. Within the next 10 minutes, Lake Park Elementary at 951. Let's take off this, Cassie, and let's look at velocity data. I want to give folks the perspective of where this is. Here's Oklahoma City. Here's Canadian County. Confirmed tornado. You saw it live from Jeremy Carter. It's still on the ground. Here's Banner. Here's West Reno. Here's I-40 and laps that and watch what the track of this has done. It was moving to the east. We told you about the ball of wind and then boom, on the north side, we got the tight circulation and that tornado that is still on the ground that is making its way off to the northeast now. It's trying to move to the northeast. We'll see. It wiggles and it wobbles. Let's zoom in and query some of that and try to get an idea of strength. Jeremy was saying it looked like maybe an EF2. Let's query some of that. 65, 80, 114. Okay, yeah, we've got winds, you know, EF1, EF2, maybe stronger. And it's four miles now to the southwest of Yukon. Four miles to the southwest of Yukon. This could lift north and cross I-40, and this could track further to the northeast.